feel like going to sleep. It's so warm. I have a phone call in to Canadian Tire. I want to return the dehumidifier, the dehumidifier that doesn't work properly. Before, you know, I, because it's, I bought it on the 27th of last year of this month. So, you know, the year's almost up. But I have called in and, and <clears throat> they just have to find me. They, they, I called the one store and they said they had one, apparently, in stock and they'd get back to me. So they have my phone number. Thor is complaining because, well, guys are working on the shed back there. I think they must be having their break right now. And, uh, he was barking before sound really impressive. Now he's whining. But at least he's out. I don't get to go for a walk. Never have I seen them go for a walk. So Gail and I were sitting out here. Over here. I finally got Eureka out. So that's nice. She'll appreciate being out in the fresh air and not locked up in a house at the bottom of stairs, gathering dust and cat hair. So I, I, I did mention to my, to, to Arlo and Mimi last night that, you know, it took the cats a whole day to get over the visit of Gilbert. <laughs> that bring Gilbert to visit, albeit very pleasant and nice, nice to see Gilbert. Hi Thor. Oh, that's Thea. That's Thea. Thea's the one who whines. Thor bark. I still feel like going to sleep. Yeah, so uh, I mentioned that, you know, I love having Gilbert come visit, but Tanner did not like having Gilbert come visit. And basically, I was sometimes when I have nothing better to do, or when I close down my YouTube, I, then they send up random videos they show you, and I idly there. There's Thor. He's a big German Shepherd. They has a smaller German Shepherd. Anyway, um, I said, you know, very nice to have him visit and everything, but Tanner freaks out, and Tanner, and then everybody else freaks out, and. Tanner and Aggie got into it last night so badly that I thought I would have to put some gloves on and pull them apart. I was frightened. Okay. Now, I will not hesitate to... I'm, I'm not those old people who, who were cornered by their cats. No, I will kick my cats to kingdom come if they attack. They attack each other. So uh, I really didn't want to, you know, have to. I mean, I was doing this, but I didn't want to get in between some claws and. Yeah. So I, I didn't think it was a good idea. 18 things you shouldn't. 18 reasons you are. 
was one of those videos. 18 things your cats don't like you to do. Something like that. Anyway, number two was get off me. Was, uh, do you mind? Bring another cat in to visit. Not a good thing. And they, you know, he said, oh, you know, open them up to new things, enlighten their lives. I, not a good thing. Stress them out. Aggie was so afraid and Tanner was so mad. And then they didn't eat. They didn't eat. What happens is all the cats get affected and then they stop eating. And it's, it's just weird. So, no, don't do that, please. I don't mind personally. If I didn't have cats, you could bring your cat over anytime you want. But, no, my cats don't like it. I, uh, I bought a book yesterday. Whoa. I have only ever bought one book before from this book bub place that I get free books from. And that was an Andre Norton. And uh, yesterday I saw that they had an Ellery Queen. I went, oh, my two favorite authors, Andre Norton, Ellery Queen. Did you know that Ellie was named after Ellery Queen? My favorite mystery author. Aggie is named after my husband's favorite mystery author, Agatha Christie. My favorite mystery author is Ellery Queen. So I got the Ellie, Ellery Queen French powder mystery. And that's what I'm reading at this very moment. You're leaning up against my iPad, so I can't show it to you, but anyway. Yeah, it's, uh, I hadn't read an Ellery Queen in decades. So it was a pleasure to start it again. And it wasn't like the Andre Norton. When I read the Andre Norton, again, after decades of not having read it, it was like it was, I'd never read it before, okay? The Ellery Queen, I even remembered the, the story. Went, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh -huh, yeah. So that was kind of cool. Sad though about the Andre Norton that I couldn't remember. It was totally different from what my memory had it as. But Ellery Queen, not so much. Maybe it was because um, Ellery Queen was at a point, there was a, a TV show, it was a TV show. And then the actor died. So that did not continue. It's very sad. I really like that actor who played Ellery Queen. Okay, yeah. Being outside is fun. Yeah, so. Ellery Queen. Canadian Tire. I think this is the time of year when everybody wants to buy a dehumidifier, and of course, that's when I bought it last year, right? But this is like 20 days earlier. You should have it in stock.
garbage. Okay, mailman's across the street. Delivery across the street. We'll see if he comes by here. So hopefully they call me back today so that I can bring the thing back today. Because today is going to be the only day that it doesn't rain this week. So I'd like to on the other hand, I'd like to stay out here, so maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. Anyway, I want to bring that back. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't bring it back today, because I'd bring it back on a rainy day, so that I could stay out here today. The rest of today, stay out here, yes, the whole day, the whole day. Under my gazebo. He was, it was completed in May of last year. So it's been standing for over a year. I remember the pandemic it was, you know, underway, but not terribly seriously. And I had called my, my construction company to say, could you put concrete pad back here yeah it all got in motion just in the nick of time because this thing was already bought and sitting under my carport for the longest time because these things they have to be bought before it's the season, so I had to. And then I, I got the savings on it. Can't remember why, but whatever. Yeah. But all of the money that I spent has finally been paid off. The last bit of debt has been cleared. And now, except for my mortgage, debt free. That was nice to get that out of the way. All of the, all of the insulations paid for, pads paid for, gazebos paid for, everything's done. Come to my house, come to my house. No, he's passing. No mail. Hey guys, you got someone legitimate to bark at? Nope, no barking. Anyway, it's time for me to eat my lunch. Lunch time.